Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make an authentic Thai rice noodle recipe. Um, very famous in Thailand, but I not sure how I can sub uh, substitute to the English word, but it will be delicious. Before I show you how to make this delicious recipe, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so in Thailand we call me cook. It is a thin rice noodle. It's a thin kind of rice noodle, and mix it with the delicious sauce that we making, and we make them to go together. That's called. That's why we call me cook. But so I wasn't sure how can I call in English. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start over here at the stove. I going to use a uh, one pound pork belly. I turn on the stove. It not have to be hot, and you just can add the, all the pork belly inside. The one with the more fat is the best. <laughs> and then you are going to use a half cup of water. Just pour inside there. And now I have the heat, high heat. I going to wait until the the water getting boiled and like getting heat. Okay, and now the water start getting a lot of boil. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, just a pinch of salt to make the uh, pork belly have a taste. So now I'm going to give them the mix. You just have to cook until the all the water start getting reduced, and then the oil start come uh, out from the from the pork belly. I will let you see when everything starts going. Now we cook the pork belly. It's about like five minutes, and you can see the water will start getting uh, reduced. Now we're going to cook the oil. So I'm going to turn on the heat to medium low because uh, if you keep it high, it's gonna be burn the, your pork belly before it gets crispy. And also, this pork belly is the already the skin already removed. Okay, and then now our pork berry is start getting a uh, dark brown, so start getting crispy. I going to remove them from the wok. It take me about from the start twenty minutes, but from the water, it getting uh, start getting drier about fifteen minutes. Now we're going to put in the stainer and look at the pork berry. Uh, they and then they reduce a lot, um, separate a lot of oil from the fat. From the pork belly, as you can see, that is gonna be good. Okay, I'm going to set it on the side and then we can go for the next step. Okay, and now in the same wok, and then I just remove all the oil, only have a little bit extra. I'm going to put the one pound of cow turkey. If you don't like cow turkey, you can use cow chicken or you can use cow pork or you can change totally up to you or you can change the protein totally up to you or you can do seafood if you wanted to. Okay, and now I'm going to cook the gao turkey. I put them on the high heat and I'm going to mix them. If you feeling them too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Okay, when your protein is halfway done, I just going to seasoning a little bit with the salt and pepper. Just a little bit of salt. Okay, and a little bit of pepper. You can use white pepper or black pepper. I didn't want a lot of um, very very salty or I just want to add a little bit of taste into the meat so that just not just a plain meat. And of course in Thailand we didn't use cow turkey. We use the cow pork or cow chicken or seafood or different protein but we don't have a cow turkey a lot in Thailand of course or turkey in Thailand. So we didn't use cow turkey, but today, this is what I have in the refrigerator, so I prefer the cow turkey today. Okay, and now our cow turkey is done. I'm going to turn off the heat, and I'm going to set the cow turkey on the side, and I'm going to clean this wok a little bit before we go to the next step. Mm, this is uh, all the pep. Right, now I have my wok clean and I'm going to add the oil from the um, oil from the pork berry. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, I cannot think of it. Okay, and I put them inside, and now I'm going to put the garlic inside. I use the egg cove garlic. For the oil, it just depends how much the you mix them, because sometimes they they um, depend how your pork belly have more fat or more meat. All right, it don't have to be hot. I didn't want to put the garlic after I frying the pork belly because I want to make sure I remove all the burnt pieces from the pork belly. That's why. Um, so make sure your uh, crispy garlic is turned out really, very really nice. Now they have a bubble. <laughs> I just going to have to, we just have to cook until you not see the bubble. That means that your garlic it will be crispy. Okay, and now the garlic start getting a chain of color to bow and all the bubble almost gone. I'm going to turn off the heat now and set the garlic on the side because um, the garlic still have the heat. They're going to cook more over here on the center. They're going to continue a little bit uh, darker. Right, so be careful about that when they come to this point they burn really really easy okay when I done frying our crispy garlic now I turn around and soak uh, rice noodle okay this is really really thin rice noodle like I already tell you from the beginning and I'm going to soak them about two minutes and also this is gonna be the brand that I using Okay, so now we're going to soak the rice noodle for two minutes. Now my noodle is already two minutes, so I'm going to come over here and move my noodle and put them into the dry bowl. And the extra water inside the noodle is still be absorbed. So, all right, so not over soak them because the, it's going to be mochi when you cook them when you make them with the sauce. Okay, so it's go back and forth, but now we're going to come back to the stove. We're going to start making our sauce now. All right. Okay, over here I have the... Can help? Yeah, you can help. <laughs> over here I have a four tablespoon, the brown sugar. I'm gonna put four tablespoon brown sugar in. All right. Can you help? Yeah, you can give mommy this one. Next, I'm going to put the coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. I use one tablespoon coconut sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. so the I use them both sugar because um, I want the more smoky flavored and listed flavored from the coconut sugar. Okay, so I want kind of flavored and smell good, make your sauce it tasty. Okay. And I'm going to thin it up with the three tablespoon of water. Okay, next it's going to be the salt and chicken bouillon. Okay, salt and chicken bouillon. It half table half teaspoon salt and half teaspoon chicken bouillon. And next it's going to be a uh, chili powder. It will two teaspoon chili powder. But for chili powder, it's up to you. If you don't like spicy, just cut them off or just use them a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to use the uh, three tablespoon the golden mountain soy sauce. Okay, I need three, one, two, and I know the baby want to help me so bad. <laughs> okay, three tablespoon. All right, and you can help me help mommy with the vinegar. You can help mommy. Okay, and next I'm gonna put three tablespoon the uh, white vinegar. Okay, one. Two. Yeah, baby, you can help mommy. Three tablespoons. Okay, next I'm going to put the four tablespoon the uh, back soy sauce. It will help you with the flavor and also the color. So we need four tablespoons. Okay, and the last ingredient that before I'm gonna make the sauce is I'm going to put the one tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon, okay, and now all the salt and seasoning going, I'm going to give them the good mix. Okay, now I turn on the heat, it to be medium low, and mix and then make sure all the sugar is dissolved. Okay, forget to tell you, when you make all the salt, you can just uh, boil your water too, so when your salt ready, so the water already boil at the same time. Okay, now we have our noodle already absorbed the water, the cold water. Now I'm going to cook the noodle. But to cook the noodle, 
um, daily uh, remember done to overcook them we only need to cook them only two minutes okay right like now I'm going to have to set the time okay and now it's already two minutes I'm going to turn off the heat and quickly remove the noodle get the stainer ready okay quickly quickly <laughs> You not want to overcook the noodle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna remove extra water. All right, and now I'm just going to put inside the big bowls over here. All right, and now we can go to the front, and then I can show you how to mix everything together. Okay, and now everything be prepped and prepared. Now the noodles still hot and the sauce still hot. So I just going to pour the sauce on top of your noodle. Oh, what is? Mm, 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 mm. And also, um, don't forget to taste your sauce. Now I'm going to use the fork and to mix the noodle together. And this noodle, that's why I tell you not overcook them because the noodles still going to be absorb all the sauce. Okay, now we're ready to put everything together. See, let's see the noodle. Um, the all the sauce, the noodle is absorb all the sauce. And next, I'm going to put the crispy garlic. And you can put just on top, or you can mix them together. I like to just uh, put much you like, and then mix them together. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic oil, the bacon and garlic oil, just about like teas. Two teaspoon before the garlic is all up to you. All right, and then I'm going to keep give this a good mix again. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! How smell it? I even want more garlic. <laughs> okay, and now um, is that? I just going to show you how to how I going to put in the plate. Um, sorry, I'm I know I go back back and forth back and forth so much, but I did how? Wow. To put the noodle inside the bowl and what do you like? Okay, and next we're going to add our protein. I'm going to add, is it up, totally up to you how much do you want to put inside there? And then I have some tofu. I cook my tofu inside the air fryer. So put the tofu and so it's crispy outside. And then the bacon, the crispy bacon that we make from the beginning. This is totally up to you. Mm -mm -mm. And then, if you like more spicy, add more chili. But this is already spicy for me. Don't forget to taste your sauce. And also, I add some uh, cursed peanut on top of noodle. And the uh, cilantro and green onion. A little bit up here. And pieces of salam. That's it. That's how we're serving. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait. In Thailand, sometimes they didn't put the tofu. Sometimes they put the uh, meatball. But it's totally up to you for the protein I already told you from the beginning. So now I'm ready to try it. Okay, now we're ready to try our noodle. So I'm just going to squeeze the lamb on top of everything. And I'm going to give them a good mix. Okay, just give them a good mix. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, oh, a lot of noodle. I know. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Mhm. Mm it's good. Mhm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Grab your tofu. Grab your meat. Grab your crispy bacon, and do them all the same bite together. I know for me in front of the camera, sometimes it's not easy, but it's so good. Oh, this is so, so good. Remind me a lot of the street food in Thailand. If you like the noodle, if you like the taste of Thailand food, please try this recipe and you will fall in love with this. And if you like the recipe, please don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thumb up. <laughs> thumb up, yeah. <laughs>